Friday night and the lights are low. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. When I've got my hair down like this, and I've just got my eyebrows on, I haven't got any eye makeup on, <laughs> I always think that I look like the beast from Beauty and the Beast when he's a man. Moving on swiftly from that little observation, um, we're gonna be doing another Average Girl Tries video today. And I was inspired for this one by a little bit of weird, random late night online shopping that I did the other day when I somehow found myself on the Skinny Dip website. You might know Skinny Dip for their ridiculously cool phone cases. I absolutely love them. I actually have one on my phone right now. I found myself in the sale section of the website because that tends to be the only kind of stuff that I can afford. And I realized for the first time ever that Skinny Dip actually have a range of makeup. So I decided that this might be quite a good Average Girl Tries video to do. Uh, a, because I didn't even know that Skinny Dip did makeup. And I've just double checked and it is still all available for half price as well. So to me, that kind of sounds like a winning combo, as long as it's good. If you haven't seen my Average Girl Tries video before, yes, it's beautiful beauty videos, but rather than it being a talented makeup artist or like semi-professional self-taught makeup artist, I am just your average girl. I don't really have any skills when it comes to makeup, but I like to find out whether products and trends and popular brands are actually worth spending your money on if you just wear makeup normally and like in a day-to-day -day way rather than like super over the top Instagram style makeup. So that is what we are doing today. This is Average Girl Tries Skinny Dip Makeup, brackets in the sale, half price. What else do I have to tell you? Um, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's get stuck in with trying these cute little goodies. First thing that I picked up in the Skinny Dip sale is this eye palette. Uh, this is a mixture of matte and metallics and it's called the There She Glows palette. I absolutely love the design of this. I love the holographic detail, love the like 80s Miami kind of vibe that's going on. Yeah, it doesn't look very high end, but I'm not a very high end kind of person. And then inside, it's quite a mixture actually. Uh, we've got a few warm tones, a few cool tones, kind of browns, shimmers, mattes, golds. I have no idea how I'm gonna put these together. Just gonna be honest. As much as it's nice to have a variety of shades, it also makes me panic three times as much because it's just not obvious what you're supposed to do with these colors and where to put them. Uh. Actually, I'm just gonna clip my hair back first so that I stop looking like the beast <laughs> and I can actually see what I'm doing. More legless now, good. I feel like in most beauty videos, I should not be comparing myself to like iconic male figures in fantasy stories. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is called Nudie in the nudie. Um, that doesn't seem to be giving me a whole lot, but um, oh, actually, that's fine. That's doing the job. I always feel like I'm being a bit more of a pro when I start with a blank color so that I've got like a blank canvas to begin my masterpiece. <laughs> if you've ever seen these videos before, you will know that there is absolutely no masterpieces involved in my beauty videos. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go for some color. So first up, it's coconuts. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Try and put that in this bit of my eye, which I believe is called the crease. Although it really just makes me think of bums when people say that, I don't know why. <laughs> That's actually a really lovely shade. It's going on nice and soft. It's blending in really well with the base color that I've just put on. I'm kind of surprised. I'll be honest, I was kind of expecting this eyeshadow to be super duper crap. So anything that's better than super duper crap, I'll be quite impressed with. Okay, that is a really, really good start. That looks so nice and soft and subtle and pretty. This is definitely one of those, you really can't go wrong kind of tan brown colors, which are a good place to start if you, like me, have no clue what you're doing with an eyeshadow palette. Okay, digging that in a big, way. That is a, a, a good start. Shall I go in with this like rich kind of ready toned brown here? Uh, this is the shade California and looks like it might be quite good to do a little bit of like darkening up around the outside. What do we think? Is this a horrible mistake? Was I feeling way too confident about laying down one colour? Uh, I think that answer might be yes, <laughs> just in case anyone hadn't already figured that out. Oh, this is also a shimmer, which I did not <laughs> realize. Although actually, do you know what? This looks quite pretty. It seems to have done okay. I don't hate this too much. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> As always, these things look like a mess while you're doing it. And then in the end, 
it all works out for the best. I'm kind of surprisingly enjoying this. I really like this palette. This is a great little palette. I think just because it looks really pretty in this palette um, and I like a little bit of a rose gold pinky kind of tone, I think I might try this shade called Babe. I'm just gonna pop that over this side. Hey, hey guys. Guys, it's working. Is it just me or is this actually going quite well for once? Oh my God, this actually does not look terrible. I would say this is above a three out of 10, which for me is progress. But all in all, I love that shimmer. It is quite sort of like chunky. It's not the most delicate and super pretty shimmer I've ever used. Um, but I actually really like the way these colors go together. I think I bring this bit out too much. I think I need to rein that in a little bit. What do you guys think? Am I like doing the wrong shape for my eye? This is a thing that I also don't know, like, what, what is my eye shape? How am I supposed to do my eyeshadow for it? Seeing as my eyes are different shapes, should my eyeshadow be different shapes? Riddle me this. Okay, before I go any further, and before I do anything else, I'm gonna add some eyeliner and some mascara to make this look a bit more normal so that it all kind of fits together a little bit better. And I will be right back. I am digging this eyeshadow. This palette, absolute hidden gem right here. I kind of wish I could try some more colors. How about I put a little bit on the bottom line? I never know whether this looks very good on me. I think it just is a little bit too close to my old emo makeup um, for me to feel comfortable with. This is basically what I used to do with a cult eyeliner. Okay, so that is eyeshadow palette done and dusted, I think. How about we just add a little bit of inner corner highlight just to be super extra today because we deserve it. For this shade here, which is like a creamy shimmer, uh, this is called Good Vibes and it looks a little bit dusty actually, but hopefully, mm, definitely not the most blinding thing that I've ever used for an inner corner highlight, but doing the job, it's fine. You can consider my inner corners <laughs> highlighted. What an absolute mega success that was. I love this. This is gonna be like making its way into my everyday makeup. This is exactly the kind of eye makeup that I would hope and pray that I could achieve for a night out and then usually not to be able to achieve it, look a mess, have a bit of a cry and decide that I don't wanna go out anymore. Story of my life. Anyway, this is currently in the sale from £12.50, which is already quite affordable, um, to a grand total of £8. Next up, I have this interesting looking extravaganza. This is the Skinny Dip Glowing Out Kit. I see what you did there. Going out, ah. Um, so in here, what do I even have in here? I just bought it because it was in the sale. <laughs> this set contains one liquid illuminator and one highlighting palette. Oh, lovely. I mean, it says £18 on the sticker here. Um, but on the website it says it was £14 and now it's down to £7. So this is the Illuminate Liquid Illuminator. What do I do with an a liquid illuminator when it's at home? Wear alone to add warm radiance or as a highlighter wherever you want to add a luminous glow. Uh, create summer sun-kissed skin for an instant glow. Okay, this sounds pretty, but let's just pump a bit out and see what it looks like. Hello. Oh, there you are. Okay, so it's quite thick. It's like standing up on my hand. Looks like morph. Does anyone remember morph? It has a quite a thick consistency, but it does look quite pretty. That looks like it would give such a dewy base to your skin. Could you even maybe wear that on its own just to like brighten up your complexion a little bit if you were having a lazy day? That looks nice. I haven't actually powdered my skin yet. So how about I go ahead and add some of that to like the tops of my cheekbones or something. Mm, it doesn't seem to sit too well on top of my foundation. I feel like that's made my nose go a bit cakey. Seems to just be kind of wearing away my foundation <laughs> where I dab onto my skin. Um, I can see that there's like a sheen there and it is pretty, but I don't actually think it's doing a whole lot to be honest. I have to say this isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but I do feel that that might look quite pretty underneath foundation if you're going for the dewy kind of look. So I will update you how this is on its own. Uh, but it does say use as a highlighter and it's not, I mean, it's just not really, is it? Let's hope that this highlight and illuminate palette is a little bit more exciting. Oh God, it says 100% lit on the packaging. 
am I the demographic for this? I'm, I'm fairly sure that I've never said the phrase lit in my entire life. It's gonna be lit. Yeah, it's just, it's just not for me really. <laughs> I like the packaging, but it is kind of clunky. I wouldn't really want this in my makeup bag, I have to say. But then in here, we have three shades. We've got this warm kind of peachy shade. We've got this really golden shade, which is called California Dreaming. And then this kind of like icy white champagne color, which is called, ah, where's my champagne? These look glittery. I'm gonna say I can see like sparkly glitter in them which is slightly unnerving. I also thought that maybe this might have like a bronzy shade in for me to bronze my face up a little bit, but it doesn't. So I'm just gonna dive in first with my normal matte bronzer, just to put a little bit of shape into my face and stop it looking quite so round. I think I'll go in with the gold shade on this side and see how we get on. So I'm just gonna pop this onto my fan brush. Okay, that is going everywhere. Oh, it's all over my jeans. These are just out of the wash. <laughs> oh, I can see it. I was wondering whether I could actually see anything there, but it's all of a sudden just popped out of my face. But I actually think that's really pretty. It looks nice and it is definitely doing the job of um, making me glow. Look at that. Whew. The gold color is a lot softer than I thought it was gonna be as well. Actually, I thought maybe it was gonna be a bit too dark on me, but I think that actually looks quite nice. And I've definitely put so much on. Oh my God, a lot of a tin man. I wouldn't say it's like, anything super special. I've definitely got highlighters that are similar to this, um, but this was a bit of a bargain price actually. Even if this didn't come with the illuminator, I'd still say seven quid for three highlighters is actually pretty good value. Okay, that's the gold. Let's try the champagne one now. Shall I use the same brush or shall I try a different type of brush? Hmm, that's nice as well. I think it's a little bit pale for me. This is the thing that puts me off this kind of highlighter now. I just think so many people make it look really silly because you have like a big stripe of contour and then a big stripe of highlight and it just looks mad. But hey, it's doing the job. I feel like a lot of people would enjoy that highlighter. I feel like it just makes me look a bit sweaty. Really impressed with this actually. Let's just go ahead and add a bit of the blush colour to see what that looks like. As if I needed more shine on this cheek. I mean... That's one thing that my face does not need right now, really, isn't it? That has made me look a little bit um, embarrassed. Bit too heavy handed there. Oh no. Can't make it go away. <laughs> I really like the way those actually look, even though it's not massively my cup of tea anymore. I think this side, especially with the more golden shimmer, thumbs up for this one as well. Very impressed with those, considering how cheap they are. For seven quid, three highlight shades. I reckon that's pretty great. Okay, last but not least, let's get rid of these concealer lips because I feel like this is making me look quite year 12. This is Skinny Dip Lip Colour. Uh, on the website, it's called something else. It's called the Pout Power Matte Lip Paints. I think there's three shades available altogether. I think there's Girl Gang, Flaming Hot, and this one that I've got, which is Flawless. Um, the other two are like a pink and a red. This is more of a peachy kind of nude. On the tube, it says that it's five pounds. I don't think I paid five pounds for this, but maybe I was feeling spendy. Maybe I was feeling money bags and I did pay five pounds for this. But in the sale at the moment, you can get all three shades for eight pounds, which seems like a much better deal. Packaging is cute, but this kind of matte packaging always gets so dirty in my makeup bag. Is that just me being a scruffy urchin or does anyone else find that? Oh, that came out faster than I was anticipating. That's a nice colour though. It's a lot more of a brownie nude than I was expecting. It looks quite like peachy orange in the tube. I love the colour of it. I think that looks really pretty. I feel like that's the kind of shade that I would reach for on the day to day. But I have to say that it has got a bit of a weird smell. It smells a little bit plasticky. And also now that it's drying on my lips, it's really sticky. <laughs> Can you see that? It's like sticking my lips together. Let's give that a minute and see if it like dries down properly. Because if it's gonna stay that sticky, <laughs> that's an issue. The only time that I can deal with that is if I'm eating sticky ribs. That's a real shame. I really like that. If you can deal with sticky lips, then this is great. If you can't and it's kind of annoying to you, I have to say it is quite annoying. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. And that is a wrap. That is everything that I've got to show you today from Skinny Dip Makeup that I found in the sale. What a snappy, catchy title that is. The lip product was unfortunately a bit of a flop. The liquid illuminator didn't really do anything. But I feel like the two palettes, the highlighter palette and the eyeshadow palette especially, really good. I wanna hear what you guys think, so let me know in the comments. Are you impressed with Skinny Dip makeup? Do you think it's worth the money, especially now that it's half price in the sale? Are you tempted to pick any of these bits up? 
Um, I want to hear what you think, so let me know down in the comments and we can have a chat. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please do give it a little thumbs up if you did to let me know that you like this kind of video and that you maybe want me to do more. So don't forget that you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both at Lucy Jane Wood, and I will see you guys next time, hopefully with less sticky lips than this. I will see you guys next time with another video. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>